near the business end in the finale now at this stage. Uh, I'm expecting a massive battle here today. Uh, you know, two teams maybe coming. Obviously, Kilkenny. You know, it was nearly strange last year when you found it. You had an All Ireland semi final that didn't involve Kilkenny. They've been yeah. accustomed to being here on the, you know, the second Sunday in August. So it was very, very unusual in that regard. But you know, they've done really well. They weren't really tested against Dublin. Dublin never really found their form, and they, they beat them quite comfortably on the day. And Limerick, you know, put up a real battle to Cork in the Munster final. Very, very unlucky. Didn't take their chances in the first half. If they did, they might have been coming in next week as Munster champions. But Limerick will be very disappointed with the performance they brought to mm. Crow Park last year. I think if there's one thing that Limerick will look to build on is that they came up here last year and they, they, they literally fell. You know, they, they didn't really play to their potential, in my view, with all the expectations. So they'll be anxious to address that today. But, you know, trying to address days like that against a team like Kilkenny sure. is never easy. The two things about last year, Ger, from a Limerick point of view was, first of all, this was a kind of a new experience to most of that Limerick team. And also they were after winning a Munster Championship. We can't ignore that because, you know, it has to be one thing that you, you, you've reached a peak in your season. Well, you know, I suppose you, when you look over the highlights of last year and you'd say Clare winning the All-Ireland was the highlight, but the next one was Limerick's victory in, NS, in the Ennis Road. Yeah. They, you remember the day we were down there? Brilliant. And the atmosphere, you know, yeah. afterwards, the crowd Absolutely, inside yeah. in the field. Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose they lost the run of themselves. Definitely the supporters lost the run of themselves anyway, <laughs> because they were already winning the All Ireland. The semi final was only kind of something that you had to go up and get used to the place yeah. for, for the All Ireland. But it didn't work out like that, that day because, you know, they missed freeze at the start of the game, they had terrible wides. Seamus Hickey got injured. Uh, everything went wrong for them yeah. that day. So you'd hope that with that experience yeah. behind them, they would be a bit different today. But I would warn, like, you know, the last three times they came here, last year was bad. 2009 against this man here, against mm -hmm. the Braille. They were absolutely hammered out the gate. Mm -hmm. 2007 before that against yeah. Kilkenny. So they've had very bad experiences at Croke Park. So the thing today is, now the one thing they have in their favour is this team has been together for three years. 2000, really 2011 was their first time together. 2012, they came with, you know, they were beaten the quarter final by Kilkenny, won the Munster final last year. So there is a steady progression going along. But I would suggest today is the day. You know, in, in, the, in, the, in the development of any team, there comes a time when you just have to make that breakthrough. And that day has come today for Limerick. On the other side of it, Tomás, if we look at Kilkenny, last year, as Liam said, they were, they were pretty much out of the equation. Now, they've bounced back this year. They're the Leinster champions again. Most people say to themselves, OK, Kilkenny are back on track and going where we normally expect them to go. But it isn't as simple as all that. How do you read this present Kilkenny side? Well, you see, Michael, last year, they had a lot of injuries. They picked up an awful lot of injuries at the start of the campaign. They'd lost their Leinster Championship um, crown, so they had to go down the backdoor route, which brought more matches on it, which brought more intensity to their hurling. And yeah. when it came to the crunch, they were missing, and people were saying they were a finished team. So Brian Cody had a big call to make. I mean, there's a lot of talk coming in about their subs bench as against the team he's actually picked. So he had big calls to make. Do I start Henry Shefflin? Is yeah, Tommy yeah. Walsh finished? Yeah. What do we do with Walter Walsh? Is yeah. Richie Power good enough to get on the team? Lester Ryan is the captain. It's the only team that I know that the captain is a sub. Yes. Right? And yeah. has been for a while. So, oh, yeah, Charlie I mean, Carter before. Charlie right? Carter before, well, right? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. when you look at that, and Taggy, right, did nothing wrong in the performances that he has, but he still doesn't get a, a place in the starting team. So, he knew he had to crank it up again. There was some competition needed. There was competition for places needed. And he's got that. And I think that is probably the key for them coming into there. There's a lot of guys there getting their first run out of senior championship hurling in, at, in the big stage of Crow Park. As Liam mentioned, that they haven't been here for a while. The key is, can they perform? And if they don't, they'll be out sitting on the bench very, very quickly. Liam, that's, a, go, go that, that's, yeah. that's a very good point, because yeah. if you heard, we'll say, yeah. that Walter Welch was injured, that Richie Power yeah. was injured, Henry yes. Shefflin was injured, Lester Ryan was injured, you'd say, the bookies. You'd say Kilkenny yes. had no chance to win <laughs> yeah. in this game. Mm -hmm. But they're not injured. Yeah. Yeah. They're subs, you know. So. 37. All-Ireland medals Thir on the subs bench. 37 All-Ireland medals, imagine that, yeah. But they're no use to you on the bench, you know, oh. that's the whole thing. True, true, I yeah. think, you know, they're like a Joey Holden. I have them, though. Uh, you know, jo Joey <laughs> Holden, uh, Joey Holden is on today, Conor Fogarty. They're not really proven yet as inter-county players, you know. Today is a big test of those. So, you know, uh, and Mark Kelly, of course, I think that, I think that's, that's a the, huge that yeah, is exactly. the surprise, you know. That is the real surprise, the Mark Kelly, Kelly football. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. to drag Richie McCarthy out of there and create more space for the others inside. So it's a very interesting selection for Brian Cody. But remember, he put on a fella called Walter Welsh two know, years ago yeah. in a replay, and he had hardly ever played for Kilkenny before, and we know what he did. So, you know, Brian has this record of giving young fellas a chance, and usually they deliver. Mm -hmm. How much, Liam, 
I know it's the same for both sides, and I know they prepare for eventualities, but there is this hold-up, there is this extra 15, probably 20 minutes now before the senior game starts because of this extra time. How do you, how do you work that in the dressing room? Do you have to adjust your preparations? Well, I, I think, you, you, you know, these guys, you know, TJ and, and Brian, let's say, are meticulous in their preparation, so you'll have, you'll have all that planned for. I think it's a little bit, it takes a bit of adjusting to a player, yeah. especially if it's your first time coming in, Michael, you know, where you haven't been used to the surroundings. True, and true, yes. You really have yourself disciplined in terms of, I listen to my music so here will and get myself ready. Will that have a bigger impact then on Limerick than Kilkenny? Because, as you said, Kilkenny are used to all this kind of stuff, you know. But yeah, but I guess Limerick... For Limerick were, well, for Limerick, though, I've been here last year. You know, I think the most personal on hinge is TJ. You know, TJ is the one, the one person that hasn't had the... The, the involvement last yeah, year, he's yeah, new to yeah, the game. Yeah. So for a manager, I suppose, you're, you're probably just anxious for the match to start, so pushing it back 15 minutes. But I would say that, you know, they will have no problem uh, dealing with the time. They'll probably come out and watch another bit of the, the, the minor match. Mm. I know when I was once, involved. Once they're told, I think the last... Kilkenny goalkeeper David Herity plays his 13th championship match today, although Owen Murphy has recovered from injury. The full back line is once again marshalled by Fenian's JJ Delaney, now playing in his 14th championship season. And then into the half back line, playing an All Ireland semi final, a new experience for Joey Holden. But Killian Buckley came on as a sub here two years ago for the injured Michael Rice. Richie Hogan lines up in the middle of the park today alongside Conor Fogarty. That's for the third match in a row. Former Hurler of the Year, Michael Fennelly has recovered from a back ailment and he comes back into the side and he plays at centre-half forward. While Mark Kelly returns to lead a full forward line, which also includes Colin Fennelly and another former Hurler of the Year, that's Owen Larkin. Against them, Limerick line up with Nicky Quaid in goal, one of 13 starters from last year's semi-final against Clare, to begin here. Seamus Hickey was wing forward 12 months ago. This time around, he's back at number four, where he played against Kilkenny in the 2007 All-Ireland Final. Wing halves Foddy O'Brien and Gavin O'Mahony up their performances against Wexford. The likelihood is that they'll have to do something similar today in this afternoon's match. Midfield has been a Limerick strong point this year, thanks to the excellence of James Ryan and Paul Brown. Donal O'Grady has recovered from a calf injury and slots back in at centre-half forward. The team captain is today playing in his 40th championship match. Meanwhile, the full forward line has Shane Dowling positioned there, and he's in partnership with Kevin Downs and Graham Mulcahy. Last year against Clare and stuff like that, that the occasion got to him and things like that. I look at it slightly different. First yes. 15 minutes of that match, they owned the world of the ball. They got great opportunities in front yeah. of the goal here at the other end yeah, yeah. for points mm -hmm. that yeah. they hit wide, as you mentioned, frees that they missed. And if you're to be critical of Limerick this year, they had similar against Cork in the first 15, 20 minutes of the Munster final. They could have been eight, nine points up against Cork and they failed to take those opportunities. Do that today against Kilkenny. Mm and they won't stand a prayer. They've got to take every opportunity. Do you know, 20 years ago, Limerick reached the All-Ireland Hurling Final with an 18-point win over Antrim. Well, it's likely to be a lot tighter today. The first half of Kikenny versus...